Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse and I am back for another iOS accessible app slash game spotlight video. And I'm going to call this an app and a game because yes, it is a game, but uh, its intent is actually to be used also as a kind of a study tool. So we are looking at a game or an app. I'm going to call it a game for just to make things easier. Uh, we are looking at a game called Study with Subwords. So you may remember a while back on the channel I had covered an iOS game called Subwords. And it reminded me a lot of a game that I had played several years ago on the iPhone called Seven Little Words. Basically, you're given clues or you're given a theme like, uh, let's say, instruments, vegetables, places, whatever... And then you're given these word fragments where you piece together words that fit that clue or that category. And uh, subwords, that was kind of what the game was. You had these little bubbles uh, with letters in them, and you would piece together the words that fit those clues. Well, now we have study with subwords uh, because apparently the app creator uh, people reached out to him and said, hey, you know, this is a cool app, but what if what if you could use this as a kind of more interactive study tool? So let's say you're in class and, you know, one of the things that we had to learn in, uh, what, uh, junior high or so, where we had to learn the uh, states and capitals. Maybe in a science class we need to learn elements of the periodic table. We need to learn... Um, the, the planets. Um, you could use any type of thing. You know, any type of... Um, the, you know, instead of just memorizing, you know, it's like, oh, memorize this list of terms or memorize this goes with that. Um, kind of a matching two-column type of deal. So that's what this game does. Uh, let's pop into it here real quick. Before I do, actually, I do want to mention that I was provided a code. Uh, the developer reached out to me a few days ago and asked if I would be interested in taking a look at this, this game and possibly covering it on the channel, because I've covered uh, this developer's apps, uh, games a couple times so far. And I said, sure, I'll take a look at it. I've liked, you know, I, li I remember liking subwords. Um, so I did get a key for it. Um, now, there is a monthly or a yearly subscription. Um, so I did get a key for the app, and I did get a key for uh, a subscription. I am running the beta right now because he also reached out to me. I was going to record this just a little bit ago and uh, had to wait because he had found a bug, and then I found a little bug. Um, so we, you know, he's been updating the app uh, with a couple little minor bug fixes. This game is supposed to launch on April 5th, so that is when this video is going to be coming out as well. So yeah, you can go support the developer, check out the game, and let's check it out in the video here. Study, so beta. let's go in. Study. Oh, First, okay, button. yeah. Next button. So, start testing. Test flight, start testing. yeah. Button. So you won't have Folders. this. You'll have the regular version. Um, I'm running the test flight, the beta right now. So on the top, folders back button. You've got folders, so you can actually even if you start doing a lot of these lists, um, you can start organizing them into different folders. Add list. Add You've list. You've got an folder, add, add list, list add button list. that is in the upper right corner. So in addition to you have a gallery, which we'll get to in a moment. Um, the gallery has some pre-made. Um, I, I, I keep wanting, excuse me, I keep wanting to say puzzles, but you, uh, lists that you can choose from. That's where we got the science ones that I was talking about earlier, the state capitals, that kind of a thing. So that's your gallery, but you can make your own and I'm not going to create a full one, but I will show you the interface of how to do it, uh, what you can do. I have created one ahead of time for this video. And we will pop into that uh, a little bit as well. So I don't, we're not really going to finish a puzzle during this video, but I will show you the different screens and how this app works. Um, on the main part of the screen, you've got your um, 
any puzzles or any lists that you've added. So I've got all lists, heading, all lists, planets, button. planets. I grabbed that one from the gallery. Technology terms, button. Technology terms. That one, I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's make up a just a bunch of technology terms that if we were teaching somebody some technology or assistive technology, um, let's throw some technology terms in there. So we'll go into there. U.S. states, button. We got U.S. states, got that from the gallery as well. On the bottom. Tab bar, selected, my list, tab. This is my list, that's where we are now. Study goals, tab, two of four. Study goals, now this you can set up with, it's kind of like with the Apple... Uh, what do they call it? Let's pop in there for just a second. Um, study more efficiently by setting a study goal. New study goal button. So I can go to new study goal, and it brings new up new new study goal. New study goal. Set goal button. Select a learning list button. So you can select select a learning list. So I could pick one of those that I have on my phone. Schedule heading. I can schedule study days every day button. So I can do. Do I want to study every day, every other day? I can set selected complete manually. Button. How do you want to complete it? Like, do you want to complete it like when I'm when I'm feel I'm comfortable that I'm done? Do I want to set a deadline and say, okay, I really need to learn this in two weeks? Because um, hey, I've got a I've got a history test or a geography test, and we're going to take that in two weeks. <clears throat> so you have some flexibility on how you can do that and you can also notify me switch button notify me you can set reminders so it's like you know once you set up your schedule once you set up your kind of due date uh you can get notifications say hey do your daily study thing uh and that's cool because not only it's like a study reminder but it's literally it's not just like when i when i memorized the states and capitals it was just literally let's memorize the states and capitals maybe a friend would randomly quiz me um, but that was about it um, you know this is you're just you're kind of gamifying it a little bit uh, and that can kind of help help things stick with you a little better um, so yeah pretty neat let's back out of that because I don't want to cancel I don't want to create one of those right now tab bar gallery tab three so we four. have our gallery and this app is in multiple languages. Uh, there's a German and English, and it looks like there's also other ones that have just been added. Um, so if you go Gallery, to the top heading, here, Cerebus, button, heading. Cerebus, I don't know what that means. Um, I, Gallery, heading, I wonder if Cerebus, it should say button, like heading. language there or something just to clue you in. Like, what, what, what does Cerebus mean? Like, if I don't know that's German or if I don't know that there are other languages supported in here. You know, that being the very top thing, it's good to know that it's, you know, multiple languages are supported. But at first I touched that, I was like, what does Cerebus mean? I don't, I, I don't know what that word is. But if I flick to the right. Inverted exclamation mark, Espanol, button, heading. Okay, Espanol. Imperial Italiano, button, heading. So maybe just having a label that says language, so language, um, Cerebus, button, heading. Cerebus. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know what that means, if that's like a German thingy or whatever. Inverted exclamation mark, Espanol. I know button, what Espanol heading. means. Imperial Italiano, button, Okay, heading. Italiano. Bonjour, button, Bonjour. Heading. Geography 101, heading. Okay, and then we go to the list of items in the gallery that we can choose to add to our list. Show all, button. So we got geography. Countries, cities, rivers, and more. Country, cities, rivers, and more. European oh countries and capitals. Button. European countries and capitals. I would fail dismal, dismal, bleh, dismally at that. Most populous U.S. cities. Premium list. Button. Oh, that I don't think that was there before. Most populated U.S. cities. Eh, I might do okay there. Most populous U.S. cities. Premium I don't list. Know. Asian countries and capitals. Button. Asian countries and capitals. Natural science. Heading. Okay. And th there are more. Uh, you see there was a see all button in that list. Uh, now we have a science category, and I'm curious to see, like, how many other categories the developer is going to add. Um, and my other question is, I don't see anything in here. Maybe I missed it. But one thing that I would love to see is a way to back up and share lists that you create. Let's say I have this technology list. I created it as an instructor. I want to share that with my students. So if they have the game, you know, maybe there could be like a, a share button or there could be, you know, like an like an email and attachment type of thing. And then they open it on their phone and, oh, you can open it in this app or however it works. 
or if I upgrade to a new device, you know, I want to be able to, you know, or maybe I want to play it on my iPad versus my iPhone. Um, so having it, you know, cloud share or, you know, having it back up to iCloud so I don't lose any list that I create. And I, like I said, being able to share with students, friends, family, I think for this type of, especially a study aid thing, that could be a really valuable feature. I said, I haven't seen that so far, but that doesn't mean that I um, might have missed it. But if it's not there, that would be one thing that I would suggest. So we do have... Natural science, heading, show all, what physics, chemistry, and astronomy. Physics, chemistry, and astronomy. I might do a, a little better at astronomy. Physics and chemistry, um, when I took them, it was basically just... Yeah, we're going to pretend it's a science, but no, it's just math. It's just equations. Planets, button. Planets, I grabbed that one. Chemical elements, period one, two, and three, button. So we have a bunch of periodic table ones. Chemical elements, period four, premium period list, four. button, tab bar, my okay. list, tab, one of four. And if I went to, you know, if I went to show all for one of these, like show I'll just all. go to button. show all for the science Natural ones science. here. And now you get a whole list. And I like that they're colored. Um... You know, it, it adds some visual variety to the app. It's pretty low vision friendly. Um, the contrast is generally pretty good. Um, the top one there, maybe a little lower contrast, that, that uh, yellow or that orange at the top there. Um, but I'm, you know, again, I'm using voiceover, so it works fine. But again, you do want to make sure that your contrast is good. But all these other ones are pretty decent, you know, with the contrast there. So that is the gallery, and I can add any of those that I want. Let's go into settings, and I'll show you what we got here. Study with subwords plus button. Study with subwords plus. Now I did have this activated, um, but I think I just have to go under the um, redeem purchases or whatever. Um, you know that that most apps have. You know, you bought something, you get a new device. It's like, oh, I don't remember that you bought that. And you with just, uh, plus button. You can go in here. So I'll show Double you what it costs. Window. Well, access to all premium lists from the gallery. Unlimited lists, folders, and study goals. Scan list with a camera. Import .csvs and .swslists. Oh, okay. We do have CSVs. So can we export too? Then can we export if we make a list on the device here? Can I export a list to a CSV or an Excel? That would be a really handy thing. Scan list with a camera. Import dots selected. 12 months. Save 49%. Okay, so... That's $2.50 per month. $29.99 per year. 30 bucks a year, basically. One month. That's $4.99 per month. $59.88 per year. Button. Okay. So it tells you what you're going to pay roughly per year, uh, regardless. Start your seven-day free trial. So that I can button. do a free trial. Restore purchase button. Restore purchase. That's the one I was looking for. So that's all I would have to do. When I went from the regular version that I originally uh, got from the developer, and then I installed the beta, it seemed to forget that I had gotten the codes for the subscription. So I will redeem that later because I don't want to show you my password. That would be very foolish of me. Settings. Heading. Back to settings. Sounds. Switch button. On. Double okay, we got sounds, um, which I, I I did mute the phone, Unmuted. so haptics button. We got haptics there. Study heading, device motion switch button on. Device Double motion. Tap to toggle setting. Voice over rotors button. Voice over rotors again. Put a lot of thought into it, so it is voice over accessible. Parents heading. It might not be a bad idea to have a little bit of like a hint or a description, especially for these two items. Device motion switch button on. Double tap to toggle setting. I'm not entirely sure what that does, so that might be a good thing to be like, what does that mean? Does that mean if I tilt it into landscape, it'll recognize it? Or does that mean some other thing? Voice over rotors button. Appearance, heading, dyslexic font, switch button. We got a off. dyslexic font Double option, tap that's to nice. Setting. Playful animations, switch button. You can on. turn animations Double on tap or to off. Toggle theme button. You got theme options. Uh, that was one of the suggestions that I had for the original subwords it was a bright white background and now when i first started up boom uh we got a dark theme dark background so kudos app icon button we got an app icon contact and about heading and contact and about you got social media stuff mail, here button Mast mail button. mail Link, mastodon but twitter button ah Link. yes we even have our mastodon now that uh people are getting a little worried about the twitters these days rate on the app store privacy policy tab bar my so list, that's our options list, let's tab, go into a one. list here 
Um, planets. Button. Let's go into planets. Planets. Heading. So this, you have two different ways that you can create a list. You can do a single list. We got our list of our, well, what, eight planets? Because Pluto isn't a planet anymore. Um, so we have a single list here. And I can just, you know, explore by touch or flick. Name. Name. Mercury. Venus. Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. Yep. And Neptune. No more Pluto. But you can also have a paired set, a paired list of items. So again, your state capitals, you know, you have your states down one column, your capitals down the other. I was trying to think of a, another list that I could create that had two columns, but nothing was really coming to mind. Um, so I'm glad they have the state capitals one, so I grabbed that. So let's just go in. Study button. We have a study button. Study mode, classic button. We have two, before we go into study, we have two options. We have a study mode. So you can, well, let's pop in here. Sheet grabber, selected, classic, button. Find any term. You will only study a selection of the terms in the list. Okay. All terms, button. Or Find all term. terms. You will study all terms. And if you're given a lot more, um, if you have a, a paired list, you actually have more options. But because this is only a single list and it's a short list at that, you only have a couple of options here. Splitting type random. Button. Splitting type. So this is where you can... How do you want the bubbles to appear? Do you want it just to be random? Do you want it to be uh, every... Like every bubble has two letters, three letters, and it gives you a warning like, hey, if a word is irregularly... Uh, irregular in, in length, you may have bubbles that have one letter. And that's fine. So, let's start. Study. Button. Let's study. The other thing that I notice when you go in here, Quit. Button. Um, the the bubbles used to be uh, in the original subwords. They kind of had a random uh, organization to them, but now we're in a nice grid. So, if you're a voiceover user, especially, and you want to explore by touch, you're in kind of a grid. We've got a one, two, three, four, four wide, and then in this case, we got several rows down. So. Let's see if we can uh, match a few planets here. Quit button. We got a quit button. Now this Limits. one we don't button. have a clue because we just Take have planets, but I'll show you the clue in another thing here. RN. Use the rotor to access uppercase. One letter, what? two letters, three. Glimpse button. Oh, glimpse. Take a glimpse at the list. Okay, so you can kind of cheat and take a look at the list and go, what am I looking for here? I notice, I think it's a mirroring thing that I'm mirroring to my computer. The The screen here is a lot more sluggish with voiceover, but I suspect that's me sharing to my computer for recording. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, I don't think. Okay, we've got... RN. That would be for Saturn. Cap J. Logo. Yeah, let me mute this, because maybe that'll help too. Muted. Cap J logo. Okay, that's for Jupiter. C U R Y. Okay, then Mercury. U P. Okay. R S. Mars. Cap N sign traffic light. Oh, that's just voiceover adding its own little. Uh, visual description thing. You can ignore that. Um, cap N. Sign. Traffic cap light. Cap N. S. Games. S. H. Logo. Yeah, I don't know why this is so sluggish on this screen. Up until now, the app has been great. But for some reason, um, it's just really sluggish here. E. A N U K V E N U K K V E N U. So I'll double tap Select that. Cap -E -N -U. And there was an S up S. here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Venus is correct. Yay, Venus is correct. Those bubbles disappear. So now I have empty space where those bubbles were. Cap U R. Use the rotor to act. 
R logo. Okay. S games. Okay, we got another S. Cap S A T U. Saturn. Cap M A. Okay, we. Was there an R S up here somewhere? Cap N sign. No. H logo. H. What were you? R S. There we go. So. Cap M A. RS. Selected. RS. Mars is correct. Yay! I got another planet. Maybe we'll try to find one more. Cap N E R. Use the rotor to I T E. T U N. T U N. R N. Hmm. Cap J. Logo. C U R Y. U P. Cap N. H logo. E. Okay, is there A N U Is there a I'm trying to find Earth. Cap N sign traffic R logo. We have an E, e we have an e. R, we have an H. E Come on. E. Cap E A R T. Ah, E A R T. Here we go. Cap E A R T. Selected. We'll do Cap that. R T H logo. H. Selected. H logo. Earth is correct. Sign. Yay. So you get the idea. Let's back out of that because I want to show you the other type of mode. Quit. So we'll quit. Back button. So yeah, this screen is, it's been pretty good. Back button. Let's go back again. Back button. Technology terms. Button. U.S. States. Button. And let's go to um, U.S. States because I want to show you a double column. So here we go. US we States. have our Heading. dual column set up. Uh, you have the list here. You can just... Uh, Flickr, Explore by Touch. We got our... Alabama, um, Montgomery, Alaska, Juneau, Arizona, Phoenix, Arkansas, Little Rock, California, Sacramento, Colorado, Denver, Connecticut, Hartford, Delaware, Dover, Capital. So you can kind of look at them this way to get an idea. Like if you've never, you know, it's your first time or you're unfamiliar with what the capitals even are. And again, you can choose your um, options. Study do you want the classic. full list? Button. Do you want a random set? Do you want how 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 do you want to arrange the bubbles? You have those two settings, and we just Study. go to start, button. and we've got another grid. So it Next, looks pretty Hawaii. much exactly button. the same. Double now up the here question. we have one additional thing, because now that we're doing a paired list, we one of our uh, options before we start is we can say, do I want to find just the capitals? Do I want to find just the states? Do I want to sort of mix them together? Whatever. But now we have a clue because now we have one or the other. And now in the top middle, it's going Next, to give us a Hawaii clue. Button. Next, Hawaii. Button. Hawaii. Double tap to enlarge the question. So if I double tap that, I can enlarge the question. So we will do that. Hawaii. And then if I flip solution. to the button. right... You can reveal the solution if you're just totally stuck and you can't think of what it is. And you might sure go question. to... Capital Honolulu button. Capital Honolulu, to return to the right. study view. So, yeah, that was a bug. That Cool, that was fixed. Um, that was one of the bugs that I had reported where it, it was reporting... I would show the answer, but it wouldn't show the answer. So now it does. So, yay, you guys have that fixed for you. Um... But yeah, capital, you know, so now Honolulu, I can look for button. Honolulu. Double tap to return to the capital, Honolulu. Okay, Next, let's just Hawaii. double tap. And like I said, we wouldn't have to get the clue, you know, if we, we figured we thought it was Honolulu, we could find one of the clues in our bubbles here. Um, but again, let's see how we do here. Let's, uh... P-O-L-I-S. Cap T-O-P. Okay. E billiard. This one is actually L-D. responding a little bit better, so I'm not sure what was going on with the other puzzle. E sport cap E A F I E A billiard A billiards cap R O. Yeah, it's not a billiard ball voiceover. U logo C K. But you get the idea. Like I said, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. Um, 
but like I said, it's a fun little way to Quite you know you piece together the um, especially if you don't have a Back full button. set for like this. You know, you got fifty states, fifty capitals. Um, if you put that down to like you know let's say ten or twenty, not only are you having to memorize them, but you're like, oh well, which ones do we even have? And we kind of have to puzzle that together. You're learning to spell them. You're learning what they are. So you're learning a few different skills here, not just the states and capitals, but I'm not sure I would remember how to spell Honolulu. I could guess, but uh, yeah. So that is a, um, I showed you a single column and a double column puzzle. Let's go back one more back. time. And so this is the technology terms, technology, technology terms. terms. So these are just simple terms that I just added to a simple list. Processor. And processor. So we got processor, memory, memory. SSD, hard drive, keyboard, mouse, monitor, speakers, printer, screen reader, braille display, headphones, magnifier, flash drive, desktop, laptop. So, you know, we've got, I don't know, a good, what, 30 terms in here. So if I went to the puzzle, I could again just bring it up just like I did the other one. Page but one let me two. show you, before we wrap up here, let me back show button. you the, um, if I add... I went to add back list, to my list add, here. Create manually. Button. Create. Dismiss. Create manually. Scan via camera. Button. Scan via camera. Dismiss contact. Import from files. Button. Import from files. So this would be really neat if, um, let's say you had a spelling list or something. You know, I remember. I don't know if they still do this in modern days, but back when I was in grade school and even up through junior high, we had these evil spelling books. And I hated them because they showed the words, but they showed them all in cursive font, and they were very hard to read. Um, but uh, so if people are using spelling books, or if you have like a vocabulary list, you could snap a picture of those and pop it right in from there, or you could manually create them. Again, you can import them from what did they say, a CSV or an Excel file. That's cool. Scan by a camera. Import from files. Buttons. Create manually. Button. So let's create, create manually. manually. And Cancel. Button. again, we're not going to go through and add a whole list, but I'll show you what's here. It's pretty straightforward. Like, it didn't take me any time to figure this out. Um, up in the top, middle. New list four. Button. New Double list four. Icon I can the... edit the name and the icon. So I can give it a color. I can give it a name. So if I, let's say I wanted to, let's say I wanted to do gaming terms or something i could put that title in there so then i could go single single button do i want to have a single or Se selected relational button relational so they call it relational but yeah so like a re relational pair your states and capitals um my gaming list wouldn't be that so let's say that i was just going to do a single um, but, uh, you know, we have our double here, so we have flip columns, button, flip columns. Okay. I see. So we've got column primary one, Pri we have our primary, so that could be like our state. And then the secondary would be our capital column name, text field. column name, double tap to add. and then you add, add row. Button. a row. So then it's going to pop up a thing and it's going to, you know, now that we have defined our state and our capital, um, then we would put our first row in there. So like, you know, now, um, we would do, uh, Minnesota, we could do St. Paul. And then we would add that row. We'd add another row and just keep going until we added all of our States. Or if I was just adding words, like I said, if I could just switch over to, um, single, single column, Selected. now single. we don't have columns anymore. We just have one, uh, we got our label, column name. so we got our primary column name. We could say uh, term or uh, gaming term, whatever you want to call it. And then I could add a row and I could say, you know, just keep adding words. So let's see, what are some gaming terms? Single player, multiplayer, NPC, HUD, um, frag, you know, just any anything. So... It's really that easy. And then when you're done, if you, you know, some of these things are required. So you have to fill in your, your title. You have to fill in your category labels. You have to add some rows. When you do that, your add dimmed add button. dim add button will not be dimmed anymore. And you can add 
that list and then you have another list that you can uh, that you can play so because I haven't re-logged in to see how that works I know you can import um, but I would I would uh, maybe what I'll do is after I record this video I will uh, after I stop recording I will redeem my purchases again and then I'll look and see if I can export and I'll put that in the description below because right now I can't remember if that was an option. But I'm glad that we can import, but I think it would be equally helpful <clears throat> to export to one of those formats and maybe just dump it in a file and dump it in the files app or something. Um, so yeah, that I mean really it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's a nice little powerful study tool, kind of gamifies instead of just memorizing lists or relationships um, between a couple of items, it's a pretty neat way to go. So very voiceover accessible, very straightforward. I love that it supports dark theme, um, pretty low vision friendly. So that is study with subwords. And um, you, when I release this video, you should be able to go into the app store and check it out for yourself. Thank you again for the developer to uh, thank you to the to the developer for reaching out uh, for this game, for this app. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at bgfh79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.